Okay, now I'm going to show you how to install Linux on your computer and I would recommend that you are using Ubuntu 16.04 since it's a safe bet. You need to Google Ubuntu 16.04 and the first link starting with releases.ubuntu.com will get you to the main site of Ubuntu and from this desktop image you can download the one that is appropriate for your system in my case it's 64 bit PC so you just click on it and download it after that you will need to download unit unit boot in it is the utility that is going to help you to create the live USB of your Ubuntu and depending on your current system, in my case it's Windows 7, you will need to download Windows or Mac OS version. So I have already downloaded it and it is called Unit Booting Windows 677, uh, the current version. So you're going to open it, give the permission, and from here you're going to choose the image with the extension of ISO. I also plugged in my USB drive. You can see it here with the letter E. And from now we are choosing the appropriate folder. In my case I put it in the Linux ISO folder. I have PubOS system here and Ubuntu, so I'm choosing Ubuntu 16.04. Why it's better? Because it's LTS and LTS stands for Learn Term Support. Learn Term Support, support means uh, you will receive the updates and critical uh, changes in your system for five years. So. Uh, this release was in 2016 and they will stop supporting it in 2020, 21st year. Okay, now everything is fine, we, we could go, so just press OK and wait until it actually creates the live USB. Okay, so the installation is complete, now press exit and reboot your computer. Before you do that, just find the model of your computer, in my case it's a Pavilion G series. And we need to find how to enter BIOS. In my case, I need to press escape, so that's it, reboot and I will see you there. Okay, now follow the instructions for your PC model. So I pressed escape, now I need to find the, something like boot device options, in my case it's F9, and from here I'm going to boot into flash disk and for this particular release we have try Ubuntu without installing so it will give you the glimpse of the system you can go straight to install Ubuntu in my case I will need to record the screen so I chose try Ubuntu without installing <laughs> 